Ever wondered what bleeding in concrete means? It's not as gruesome as it sounds, promise. You see, in the world of concrete construction, bleeding is a term that has quite a different meaning. It's all about water and its journey to the surface of the concrete. When you mix your concrete, the water you add doesn't just disappear. Instead, it does a little dance, rising up through the mix to the surface. This results in a thin layer of water sitting on top of your concrete. It might seem harmless, but this seemingly innocent process can have significant impacts. It's not just about aesthetics. Bleeding can affect the overall quality and strength of the concrete structure. It can lead to a weakened surface layer, reduce bond between the concrete and reinforcement, and even cause scaling. So when you see water pooling on the surface of your concrete after pouring it into a formwork, you're witnessing bleeding in action. Now let's switch gears and talk about segregation in concrete. No, it's not about social division, but about the separation of concrete ingredients. Segregation is a phenomenon that occurs in the concrete mix when the components begin to part ways. This leads to a non-uniform distribution of aggregates and cement paste, essentially an inconsistent blend. Imagine pouring a bowl of cereal. If you don't stir it well, the heavier pieces sink to the bottom while the milk rises to the top. Similarly, in a concrete mix, the larger aggregates tend to settle at the bottom, while the cement paste, being lighter, rises to the top. This segregation can result in weak points in the concrete structure, compromising its durability and strength. So if you observe the larger aggregates settling at the bottom of your concrete mix, you're witnessing segregation. And remember, both bleeding and segregation can affect the durability and strength of your concrete structure. 